Good evening guys, this is Samaya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to answer the frequently asked question about getting the ULD files for the decoratives in the Dialogs Evo. So be it a chandelier or table lamp or floor lamp, we often try to get the ULD files rather than IES and NDT files because those are more realistic and it gives a nice effect on the lighting design. So for this one, you can download the newest version of the Dialogs Evo, Dialogs Evo 10.1 or if you are using the older versions of Dialogs Evo 2, you can use this feature. So basically here, uh, I have considered a small room, okay, I just place random furniture and there is no lights here. So I just want to place some floor lamp or maybe a chandelier, okay how are we going to get the ULD file for the floor lamp I'm using the latest version of Dialogs Evo it's Dialogs Evo 10.1 and on the right corner you can see Lume search so if you click on the Lume search you will be directed to this page okay which is so let's understand this so basically Lume search is a tool in which it helps us to find the products in for our lighting design so in this page if you go first thing you can see is the search luminaire do you want it for the indoor or outdoor okay you can directly put the keyword here like if you want table lamp you can directly type your table lamp okay but let's go with the procedure indoor so after i so after that it's asking me is it ceiling resist ceiling surface pendant standing wall resist or wall surface mounted and floor resist so i will first choose i need a floor lamp so i will select on standing and here it's uh, showing me the two displays of the light output one is direct and indirect and one is only direct so um, since it's more like a reading corner i will select this you can even select only direct let me select this one okay then on the left hand side you can even change it like application is indoor you can go to outdoor and here it's separate section for healthcare sports internal so based on your project application you can select the profile then mounting mode we have choosed standing or blood okay then adjustability whether the lumina which you are which you need it has to be like height wise adjustable or rotatable or tiltable and cardanic so you can select any specific thing if you are looking you can select here then illuminant you need led fluorescent lamp or incandescent lamp you can select down in the drop down menu then shape and dimension so this is very very clear very clear okay very precise so you can go to the drop down and you can put what are the information like you can select what type of luminar you are looking so very detailed okay so let's just you know close this and see the options we have got you can see the results now okay light colors let's select warm white now see the options so you are getting a list of different luminaires so you can see the various brands so it is bright regent artemid so let's select this one Op you can directly you can directly click on this it goes to the new page wherein you can even see its data sheet for more detailed information like how many watts how many lumens how much cri everything all the data of the luminaire okay now you can easily send this to your project okay all you need to do is just click on send to dialogues you have to click send to dialogues then maybe you can find another box here popping up with open dialogues dispatch or something like that it's not showing me here okay so then if it asks you some kind of like pop out it comes you have to say like please send this to dialogues 
and yes you have your luminar file here ULD file okay you can see the details here right so we'll go to the plan view and uh, we'll just place this one place individual luminar let's go looks perfect right so basically ULD file is 3d model plus IES that's what ULD file in simplest term if I have to say you let's run the calculation and see the output calculation objects entire project and you can see the output let's do one render export increase the resolution let's keep it full HD let's keep it full HD start ray tracing so the image is ray traced and you can see the output here it's nice you can see those reflection of on the floor lamp the details these details it's really nice you can try different options I'll close this one calculation objects let's try one with the chandelier so we have used here Artemide now let's use even the chandelier of Artemide so now we'll change from mounting mode from standing of bollard to pendant and we'll type here Artemide light brand and you can see the different chandelier options okay let's try with this one oh, but it's 70 watts that's too much this is nice it's of 4 watts let's check with this one open dialogs dispatcher send to dialogs let's place this one I'm just placing it to show you the light output okay oh wow that's nice calculation objects run entire project calculation is completed and you can see the light output nice perfect that's nice so guys this is how you can get the ULD files for decoratives you can also get the ULD file for architectural lighting be more specific about the light brands if you know which light brand you are using then it will be very easy to search for the products and uh, just check if the brand you're looking for is a lighting partner of the Dialux Evo because if they are the lighting partner with the Dialux Evo then only you can get their ULD files if they are not lighting partner of the Dialux Evo you won't get it I hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any queries please do let me know you can write me at smaya.lightdesign.gmail.com So this is it guys in this video. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me. Thank you.